Hello there, Above Average fam. I am Above Average Cody, and welcome into another Pokemon card opening. And today, you guys should know if you've been following along, we have an entire half remaining in this Blue Sky Stream booster box from Japan. And we did not pull the Secret Rare in the first half of this box, which means it should be our guaranteed Secret Rare inside of all of these packs we are opening today. And as teased at the beginning of the video, granted my Evolving Skies does not come early, we have a Marnie Premium Tournament Collection to open on Thursday. So it is gonna be a fantastic week. And then Friday, no vlog because the new set will be coming out. So we will be doing an Evolving Skies opening. So three openings this week. We're opening blue sky stream we're opening a marnie box it this week is just gonna be fire guys i'm so excited uh enough talk let's start jumping into these packs the amazing blue sky stream the Rayquaza v max still going for crazy money and of course it's kind of like an early look at evolving skies because again evolving skies will make up or this set Eevee Heroes and Towering Perfection, which we opened last week also on the channel, will be making up the English Evolving Skies. So we we get a little sneak peek here. Granted, it isn't Japanese, but the artwork we will be seeing soon. The awesome Minon hiding on the rock. Uh, ball toy floating. We got uh, Simi Sage, I remember his name now. And a hollow jump bluff. The lovely of all form of Hoppip and Skip Bloom. I've always been a fan of the little jump pluff boy. And guys, I'm just really curious what we are going to pull for our secret rare. Obviously, it's it's going to be a tough pull to get the Rayquaza VMAX alt art, but if we got it, I would literally lose my mind. That card is going for so much money, and I think the price is going to stay the same. And we got Turtonator to finish off. Uh, it's going to stay the same even once the English set drops. It's going to be worth a lot in English. It's going to be worth a lot in Japanese. It's just an amazing card, and it's just, ugh, I can't stop talking about Evolving Skies because I'm just so excited. So Friday, expect us cracking into a booster box or some other Evolving Skies product. But enough talk, let's get a little focus going here. We got Flaffy uh, going VMAX or something with the electricity all around him. We have uh, Panseer, I believe. Applin, very simple artwork there, sitting by the water. Plusle again. Oh, baby, we have the Gyarados VMAX. As mentioned, we pulled the Gyarados last video, and when I did, I said I am so pumped to see Gyarados come into the V and the VMAX uh, party, if you will. And here we are with our first pull of the video, the awesome VMAX. That artwork looks so cool. I mean, it's kind of simple, but I guess what else can you do with Gyarados? I feel like it's a similar poses to what we saw in the Sun and Moon GX era, but uh, still a very cool card. It does have a little bit of a cool, like, color work done to it but a uh, very nice card we're one for two we're starting off hot enough or one for three i believe these packs go so quickly i already forgot how many we have already opened let me move that there so it's not quite in the way we've got the scary mask get that off the screen as quick as possible darumaka just added to pokemon go at least that version of him uh simis sage looking like he ate some groovy berries toxley destroyed his toy and Hollow Zygarde. I feel like no matter what set we go to, we never go very long without seeing copious amounts of Zygarde. Let's rip into this bad boy. One card to the front. We've got the Ray Gun from Call of Duty Zombies. We've got Mareep, uh, Galarian Darmanitan. We've got a kid. And beware, looking like he's doing some meditation uh, by the ocean waves. Another pack, another... Rayquaza chilling on the front looking angry as ever pack. We've got a, some sort of Pokemon Switch. We've got Galarian Darmanitan again, Ball Toy again. The amazing Ninetales artwork, possibly my favorite artwork out of all the regular cards in this set. And we have the Flame Worm, Scorch, I believe. Because I think Sizzlipede is the little tiny one um, that it is like the base form. Like, he evolves into Scorch. All right, we got Ampharos with the big belly. Give it a rub for good luck. We've got Plusle to go with the Minon. We've got uh, Bagon, I believe his name is. Cryogonal, possibly the simplest Pokemon ever. He's just an icy octagon. Oh, Toxtricity. I did not know he even had a card in this set. Pretty cool. Lovely holographic. Loving. Always love the uh, Japanese holographics with the hollow border. Another pack. 
to satisfy our Pokemon needs. Where's that secret rare, boys? It's gonna be coming eventually. Popsicle. We've got, uh, uh, not Cloyster, Evolves in Cloyster. Shelter. We have Sand Slash. I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, that a Bagon evolves into him. And we got Beware again. Let's get another pack going. Forgive me, it's warm in here, and I'm acting a little brain dead, but I am trying my absolute hardest here. Glade all. It's a big throw off, too, that all the words are in Japanese. Mareep, uh, Pan Sage, Vulpix, some pretty cool artwork as well. It looks like uh, it's an extended art, almost like the flames that are around Ninetales. Maybe he's watching Ninetales go Super Saiyan. And we have Tornadus. Why is Tornadus here? I'm so sick of seeing the elemental gods. They're just not very cool to me. I don't know. I will accept them over the, uh, uh, who's the annoying ones they kept putting in the sets? Oh, I can't even remember. Oh, the Tapus. I don't like the Tapus. I will accept the elemental gods over the Tapus just because we don't see the gods as much as we do the Tapus. We have Blissey, uh, Tropius trying to fly, Galarian, Darumaka, Mareep, and Wishiwashi trying to form a bigger Wishiwashi. At least that's what I assume is going on there. I have no idea. Where is our secret rare? I think we have four or five packs left already. We've whizzed through this. When is the secret rare going to show itself? We've got some electric stadium that does not look very safe. We have a Hopip, Vulpix again, gigantic Chansey, huge Chansey, and the weird apple pie dragon breathing fire or whatever he's spitting out of his mouth. I have no idea. What do we got, boys? What do we got? One to the front, spiral energy, Plusle, Pan Sage, Stantler, the man Stantler, Cloyster. We have Cloyster to go with that shelter earlier. Three packs left. Let's grab the one in the back. I'm starting to get nervous as we open an uh, American booster box not too long ago that did not have a secret rare. I was led to believe Japan Japanese packs guaranteed secret rare, but uh, it wouldn't be the first time I've been disappointed. Simi Seer, there it is. There it is, ladies and germs. Full art trainers are secret rares in Japan. And this one's pretty cool. It's not quite as cool as the one we pulled from Towering Perfect, the copycat card, but this one's pretty cool. I do like uh, what he's doing with his hand there. How he's like showing the ball like that, pretty cool. Uh, and it's like perspective good so it looks closer. Um, I'm really not sure what else to say. I'm disappointed it's not an alt art. I am glad we did get a secret rare. But uh, this one's just not very crazy. It, it is the gamble you take where it's guaranteed secret rare in these boxes. But also full art trainers and regular full arts are secret rares. Uh, we learned that with the disappointment from EV Heroes where we got a full art and not an alternate art. But uh, it is what it is, guys. I love this card. I'm a sucker for full art trainers. So I'm glad to add one to the collection and just the Japanese ones go so hard. They are awesome. So there is that secret rare for the box. It's not unheard of to get two, but I'm going to have to say it's very unlikely we have another one in the final two packs of this opening. But let's see what happens here. We've got Cloyster again. We have a female. We have Sizzlipede. We have Skiploom doing some juggling when he should be doing more skipping. And we have Victini throwing a high kick with some fireballs around him. I can only assume that's what's going on there. Final pack of the opening, guys. That one opened really nice right down the back. Slide that to the front. Final one, we got some rubber gloves, some lovely hand condoms. We've got Cryogonal, Gigantic Chansey, Applin, and Hollow Salamence on the mountain, breathing some fire. Awful lot of dragons. Again, dragon type is back, and uh, obviously it's Blue Sky Stream with Rayquaza on the front. You gotta have a lot of dragons in the set. But now that brings us to Cody's single shelf, the segment I do at the end of every Pokemon opening where I show you guys a single I've added to my collection off camera that I have not pulled here on the channel. This one we have a promo from Diamond and Pearl. We have Rayquaza or Rayquaza. I always pronounce it different. I don't know why. I just can't commit to one or the other. Rayquaza C level X. Uh, this was a promo card. You could also pull it from Supreme Victors, I believe was the set from Diamond and Pearl. 
has the uh, trainer on it, Cynthia. I'll be honest, I have no clue what the SP stands for. Uh, I'm probably just stupid. But I like the artwork. I like the card. It has the cool hollow border. What's weird about this one that I got, it has like a faded border on the bottom and the left side. Now, obviously, I did not pull this card. I have not owned it. I just purchased it recently because I'm on a Rayquaza kit, guys. He's coming back in Evolving Skies. I'm hyped to see him, and I'm just gobbling up ones that come in front of me with my wallet out. But um, it has a weird faded border, and I looked at other pictures, and they also have the faded border. I have no clue if that's a print error or if the edge just gets worn off very easily. I really have no idea because, as you could see from the back, uh, it is moderately played. Uh, I, I don't even think this would pass for lightly play because I think I have a crease down here somewhere I'm not sure if you can see it. It is right about there next to my finger uh, You can kind of see how it's catching light different but uh, price obviously on screen for what a near mint copy goes for But keep in mind. This is not a near mint copy sadly, but I love the card I still had to have the card I normally only buy near mint or lightly played at worst but again, I'm on a Rayquaza kick guys. I wanted it. It's a very cool card It's got Cynthia chilling in the corner and uh yeah i just had to have it so there it is and these are our pulls for the video honestly some pretty fire pulls it sucks our secret rare was not a uh uh, alternate art card, especially not the alternate art Rayquaza VMAX, but with all the evolving skies I'm planning to open soon guys, we're gonna see, be seeing some, I promise you that, and then obviously pumped to see Gyarados, who doesn't love a good Gyarados Dragon Fireworm to add to the collection, so some cool pulls, I can't complain, uh, but that was a fun box to open, obviously Thursday we do have the banger video of a Marnie little premium tournament, tournament collection, it looks like a milk Box and just that's gonna be a lot of fun guys this is jam-packed with stuff you definitely gonna want to see that and then evolving skies friday guys a lot of heat coming but uh i'll stop talking your ears off thank you so much for watching stay happy stay healthy and stay tuned for the next video